And again, I'm not even gonna post the other fucking videos because these fucking pendejos no. on YouTube don't know how to tell you shit. What am I getting at? You. Buick Regal GS comes to that day, you feeling froggy. Oh, I want to change the engine mount. I also want to go on ahead and change the oil pan and oil pan gasket. But I had my ass chat with some of these motherfuckers that don't want to give you details upon details. So I'm going to try to run through this as quickly as I can. Where is, where is that bracket? Where's the bracket? Right there. My right hair. there. Oh, that bracket? This bracket, right here. Fuck you. So, that's exactly the way it sits in the vehicle. Okay? Firewall, radiator side. Two fucking bolts. One, two, three bolts. Nightmare to get to. Ratchet. Uh, a ratcheting open wrench. Same thing with these two. That little motherfucker right there is not going back. You only need fucking four. On top of the two that it's going to sit on. Okay? So, we go on ahead, get that motherfucker off, per the video of everybody else. Notice my ass is a little fucking chapped. So I go on ahead and fucking engine hoist, all kinds of shit. We can't get this. We can't get a fucking clearance to save our life. We start watching other videos, what other people are saying. Oh, well, I just went on ahead and I have a lot of clearance and I did this and I did that. I'm going to tell you what these jackasses aren't fucking telling you because you motherfuckers are... Lack of intelligence, and I'm the fucking pendejo. So, you notice how far that fucker's up. What I ended up doing it, because as we kept raising the vehicle with the jack, it kept lifting the vehicle. We've been at this for hours. I'm like, pause. I figured it out. Took us a fucking minute. You notice that nut is all the way towards the end. We ended up loosening that, and that gave us the fucking clearance. That's the shit that these motherfuckers aren't telling you. Got jackass, jackasses telling us, oh, we're going to go on ahead, and we're going to leave the pickup tube fucking loose. How the fuck are you supposed to tighten it? Tighten the fucking pickup tube, put your gasket in there, then massage the fucking pan. Believe me when I tell you, you're going to have to loosen the shit out of that fucking axle. If not... Just fucking remove the axle and you'll be able to get that engine to go on ahead and completely fucking clear. It's going to be scary. So not only do you have to go on ahead and loosen or remove the nut so that the axle has got play in it to move up. Because you're pulling that side of the engine this way. It's pulling on that axle. Okay. You're going to do that. And you're going to remove the dog bones. Okay. If you're embarking on this, that's what you got to do. Since you're doing the engine mount, you might as well do the trans mount because the trans mount's going to get hurt. So, we ended up with solid engine and trans rubber mounts. I got them off of Grand Prix. Yes, they fit. Yes, they're identically the same. Okay? I went to O'Reilly's, matched them up, bolt pattern, everything. Everything's the same. Just they're solid rubber mounts. We opted for polyurethane bushings up on top. Massive difference. We'll talk about the performance shit about it later on. My ass is chat because motherfuckers don't know how to make a video. Don't know how to sit there and tell you. Take the axle and fucking remove it so that the engine can come free and do that. Unfucking believable So, I give you the details of details so you don't have to go through this bullshit. Best case scenario, send it to the mechanic, let that motherfucker deal with it. But believe you me, we've been in here for over seven hours doing all kinds of shit to this car. We've been in here for quite a few hours just trying to get that goddamn pan back in there. Finally got it in there. These motherfuckers. Holla at your fucking boy.